Hi, I'm Tom Bassett and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up B2B marketing analytics. From marketing setup to get started, expand reporting and analytics, B2B marketing analytics and then press on getting started. From here, you need to ensure that your connector or integration user has the B2B marketing analytics permission set and any users that you want to give access to this app also has the B2B marketing analytics permission set. Additionally, you need to enable CRM analytics and enable data sync and connections. You can do so by following the quick links within the setup wizard. The last step is to create the app itself within analytics. But before we do this, we're going to review the optional features. From here, you can enable features to track the engagement of your prospects, enable the prospect and activity data set, and then reconfigure the app to include this optional feature. Additionally, there are steps to follow to enable the account-based marketing dashboard, which includes giving the analytics cloud integration user the necessary access for multi-touch attribution. These steps are slightly different because you need to turn on campaign influence and then reconfigure the app. The last additional feature is to enable Einstein behavior scoring and then ensure that the analytics cloud integration user has the necessary permissions. But it's simply a process of following each step within the wizard. Before I go into analytics, I need to jump into account engagement settings. So you can see here that my uh, business unit ID is this one, and I'm going to need this in analytics to set up the app. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to reconfigure an existing app. If you wanted to create an app from scratch, use the create button in the top right hand corner and select B2B marketing analytics. Let's press on B2B marketing analytics. And then because I've already got an app, I'm going to press on reconfigure. I'm going to skip past the warning but ultimately this is telling you that when you reconfigure the app, you overwrite any customizations that you've made previously. So be sure to take any backups before you do this. I'm gonna continue. And this is where I need the part of account ID or account engagement account ID to set up the app. Once I've got that, I'm gonna to go to the next step. And in this case, I want all of the optional features enabled. So I am good to go. And the last step is configuring the fiscal year. So you can adjust any relative filters and they are based on your fiscal year and setting your locale so that the dashboards know what currency symbol to choose. So I'm going to press looks good and OK. And then Astro is going to go off on a run. And ultimately, the system is going to create the data sets, dashboards, and data flows for me in the background. This will queue the data to refresh each day. But ultimately, once the wizard has successfully completed, I don't need to worry about those granular details because it turns on everything on my behalf. This step may take a few moments. Once the application is completed, you'll see a confirmation message like this. And from the right hand side, you can open the app and dive into any of the dashboards or the data sets to get started, bringing together the account engagement data alongside your Salesforce data. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe and add any feedback in the comments. Thanks.